The commander and some crew members from the USS St. Louis were in town last fall, touring the city, including the Soldiers Memorial, and they weren't here to say goodbye. No, it looks like the USS St. Louis has managed to survive the threat of being decommissioned, put out of service, despite being practically brand new. Is that settled now? Can you tell me regarding the USS St. Louis? Is uh, it off that list? We are not being decommissioned. So at this point, we, we think we're pretty safe. It's a complicated story involving mechanical problems, defense budgets, and questions about just what kind of Navy the United States needs. Our interest? Well, it's the St. Louis. This littoral combat ship, or LCS-19 Freedom Class, was christened by ship sponsor Barbara Taylor of the Enterprise Rent-A-Car family at a shipyard in Wisconsin in December of 2018. At the August 2020 commissioning ceremony, Barbara Taylor was there to officially put the ship into service. Commander Hagen, officers and crew of the USS St. Louis, man our ship and bring her to life. Aye. Yes! It was a new generation, state-of-the-art ship designed to be fast, automated, lethal, and flexible. But it, and other ships like it, had problems. In simple terms, some of these ships just couldn't get into high gear, and it was an expensive problem. And one of the reasons the Navy decided it might just be cheaper to take some of them out of service. And the USS St. Louis was on the list. But Congress would have to approve the decommissionings, and this defense budget thing gets very complicated. The decommissioning did not or has not taken place. The USS St. Louis underwent some repairs and remains in service. What's the status now for the USS St. Louis? How's it doing? So uh, our ship is doing uh, really well. Uh, we've had the combining uh, gear fix. We've been the, uh, yeah. That's sort of the overdrive here, right? Kicks oh, you into high uh, high speed, right? Pretty much. That's all been fixed now, and uh, so we're looking forward to getting on board and uh, going really fast. Later that day, ship sponsor Barbara Taylor hosted Commander Turner and three other crew members at lunch. And she was relieved that this would be a continuing relationship between the ship and the city. So decommissioning is one of the milestones of the ship, and that's um, what the sponsor is all you know is always uh, there. And when I accepted this, a ship is usually you know in service for 30 years, and so I would joke and say, well, I probably won't be around for that. And then when it came around, I was very upset because I was like, you know, I've gotten attached to these people. You know, I love to show them St. Louis, and, um, I, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay. The USS St. Louis underwent post-repair sea trials and did fine. There's a new commander of the LCS-19 and it's heading out for a year-long deployment. The USS St. Louis is the seventh U.S. Navy ship to carry the city's name. The first was a sloop of war put into service in 1828. The most famous was the World War II cruiser that escaped the attack on Pearl Harbor and survived so much action during the war, it was dubbed the Lucky Lou. The newest USS St. Louis has survived a very different kind of battle, all focusing on whether it can literally go full speed ahead. For Living St. Louis, I'm Jim Kircher.